this is a toast to our lawmakers and uh, what the fuck going to be doing from the union leader today the toast deadly force Lynch's veto fails false stand your ground self-defense bill is now law the house voted Wednesday to override John Governor John Lynch's veto of an expansion of laws allowing use of deadly force by citizens. By a vote, vote of 251 to 111, the House followed the Senate vote last week to override the veto and put Senate Bill 88 into law. It will take effect in 60 days. Thank you. Uh, the bill was roundly criticized by in law enforcement at every level and was just as adamantly praised by pro-gun forces as a self-defense bill. The vote came a week after, after a week of assurances from Speaker of the House William O'Brien's office that no vetoes would be taken up the session. But when Democrats challenged the Mount Vernon Republican on his Last minute change of mind, he answered, the chair sets the agenda. Now it's on the agenda. Good for him. O'Brien and supporters of the bill needed 244 votes Wednesday uh, to reach a two-thirds majority needed for an override. The bill allows a person to use deadly force to respond to the threat of deadly force with no duty to retreat in any place a person has a legal right to be. Current law, law allows the use of deadly force with no obligation to retreat to safety in the home and attached property. But if I went out and say somebody was holding a gun to your head or a knife to your throat or whatnot, before this bill, if I even went, do you really want to do this? I'm criminal threatening. If it were me, before I could pull this, I would have to try to retreat somehow. Before I could pull this. To defend my own life in public. If somebody had a knife to your throat, I would have to back away and come back before but no, even that, because it wasn't happening to me. It, it just stupid, it was stupid. The law was stupid. This just rectified it. The bill allow, okay, yeah, the bill grants immunity from lawsuits over injuries suffered by anyone identified as a perpetrator. Opponents said language in that section is so vague that innocent bystanders who are shot could be left with no legal recourse. Now, let me tell you, before you start carrying, you should know what your ammo will do, what your piece will do, what ranges you've got. I am not going to drop the hammer down on somebody if I feel that the projectile is going to go through them and hit somebody else. Probably at that point I'd very just very seriously maim the fucker. But that's beside the point. I'm not, you know, a response. If you have a concealed carry permit, you are responsible. And like I said, I am not going to, if I feel I'm going to hurt somebody else, unless that somebody else is working with a perpetrator, then I don't give a shit. But... Uh, this bill would also end mandatory jail sentences for those who brandish deadly weapons in cases of criminal threatening. Ward Bird. 
his property is posted. Private property. No trespassing. And a person came on. And he came out and said, get off my property. The person continued, would not leave, and he did this. And he went to jail. He did this and said, get off my property. That's criminal threatening. Not anymore. Thank you, legislators, for that, you get a toast. Now we're on to the what the fuck. Bill would end gay marriage, civil unions instead. A House subcommittee Wednesday endorsed a bill Uh, that would repeal the state's gay marriage law and institute a new form of civil unions. I can't read anymore. I look at it this way. Who are we to tell you what you can or cannot do? That's you. That's personal responsibility. It's, you know, it's the same with the drug laws. You can't do that. Well, it's going to happen anyways. Why not just, okay, you're responsible for yourself. You want to smoke pot? By all means. It's not hurting me any. If I want to smoke pot, I will. As long as I know I'm not hurting anybody. I do it in my own privacy. Or I do it with a group of others that do the same thing. How is this, you know, let the people be happy. It's not hurting you any. You find it offending? Pay no attention to it. It's a fact of life. A lot of things are a fact of life that we try to block out. Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's a fact of life. We are humans. For that... I give the state a what the fuck. What are you wasting my tax dollars on? Leave it the fuck alone. Let them be happy. I thought that was one of the best bills that ever came across. Well, before SB 88. Way to go by, boys. Anywho, I'm rambling now. Peace out.